Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, if I only bet one life, it would have been 1 plus 3, which would have been the best possible output from one life. But I bet 99 lives and got plus 3. Hmm. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Shifting platforms ahead! Wrong way. I like left. how you ran the wrong way first. <laughs> you always have to do that. You hide secrets in the wrong way. <laughs> yes, there are secrets in the wrong I way, whether you too. run left first or run right first. And in that case, you know, the game made me face left, so I had to run right first. <laughs> Anywho. It's level. okay, my brain is even more mush than yours is right now, so I shouldn't really be making fun of you. Level's name is Shifting Platforms Ahead, so this level has a lot of moving platforms. Now, interesting property about that moving platform. It's a solid he platform. He just jumped off. He committed suicide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's a funny platform, because you know it's a rock. It stumbles down, but it's completely solid for until you touch it. Once it starts stumbling down, it's only solid to Yoshi. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, here's a big old face, if you can see it. Yes, <laughs> and cute little birdies. Oh yeah! Let me go cheep cheep. Bounce the round. Random detail he added in. My attention tap. span is all over today. <laughs> tap taps! Oh no! There's a pipe! There you go. Yes, there is. So, what I want to do is I want to get the midway point and then jump up to the pipe and wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Why did that I wanted to ride the Goonie all the way up to the pipe and it didn't quite work. Yeah. Which is okay. Here it kind of just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the thin air. Mm hmm. It's okay because I died once in between, so it didn't even really matter. <laughs> Alright. Now, without a midway point to get in my way, <laughs> let's <laughs> ride the Goonie up to the pipe. Ugh. There you go. Alright. Now, in this bonus room, you gotta get across to the other side. There are a lot of coins, but no ignore red them. Coins. None of them are red. You just wanna get the flower in the room. Otherwise, yeah, every other coin in this room is yellow. And as I'm about to show off the switch that I just pressed, this is actually the switch for all the blocks. So, so before there's not any red coins in there, so I don't even really care. I got my flower I'm out of there. <laughs> That's a room where you could spend a long time fluttering to get everything in if you wanted to. Yeah. Surprisingly, we actually have zero red coins at the moment. Wow. As, is this like the first level where there hasn't been a single one before a middle ring? That's very possible. Definitely very, very possible. Wait, do you see the ravens? Oh, well, that ended quick. Never mind. <laughs> yes, I did see the ravens. Ravens walking around the planets. Oh, look, fast moving platform. Let's ride it again because I missed a coin. Because whenever you're actually really playing Yoshi's Island, you have OCD and have to collect every coin unless you know exactly where the red coins are. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> mm hmm. There we go. Oh, that's the third time we've seen that same raven. Like how they walk around the planets or planet toys as if it's Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Alright, we just have a couple of perilous platforms to get across here, and we can make it to the final area of the level. Now, interestingly enough here, this sets up for what you think is going to be like multiple line paths, but it's actually one. It's just three that immediately converge down into one. That is kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> and these green ones and are way yellow, too slow. Yeah, the yellow one kind of blasted away from me, so now I'm stuck with the green ones. And yeah, they are really slow. On the bright side, it lets me collect everything safely. Yeah. On the dull side, they're really slow. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Pop those balloons, and... Nope, no key in that one. Hmm. Geronimo! <laughs> I jump off right away. <laughs> That's potentially suicide in some later levels, by the way. Hmm. You want to stay on the red platforms, usually. But, not this time, thankfully. 
we're not on those super difficult secret and extra levels. Now, we're going to come up to an area of the level where I gotta say, make sure you fill up your supply of eggs off of this guy. Because it's really easy, come on, show the piranha plant, there we go. It's really easy to just flat out kill him, and then realize the error of your ways. Hmm. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hit him twice, not hit him a third time, and collect some extra eggs. Speed up time! Mm-hmm. There we go, my egg supply is full. Now we kill them. Why did we do that? Because up ahead, there's clay. Ooh. And no supply of eggs, which means if you had no eggs, you'd be SOL out of those items. And that red coin. Yeah, and the red coin. Surprisingly, we're only at nine of the red coins so far, so we're going to be running into a whole lot of them at the final leg of the level. There's no item that can break clay, right? Like a power block wouldn't get rid of it? No, the me watermelons can, though, oh, yeah. so if you... Yeah, it, it, it'd have to be the green watermelon. And your the... head. <laughs> well, with the position that clay, you can't jump underneath exactly. it, actually. So, yeah. You'd either have to have an egg resupply item or a uh, green watermelon to get through there. Our final area of the level, lots of fallen rocks. So you better watch off. Watch your head. I hate those flippers. Always stopping you from going back. No. Wow, look at that. The one you almost <laughs> that, missed. Stopping me from going back. That bumpy didn't stand a chance. Thankfully, this isn't a giant chasm in case you miss the rocks, because sometimes you gotta use the rocks before they go all plummeting down and go bye bye. Hmm. Like this rock, actually, you have to use here to make it up there. Oh. Yep, now down here, there's gonna be some bullet bills and the last of our items. That's actually our last two red coins over to my left. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Get those, thank you. And we're at the goal. But you blew it! Such suspense. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, plus ten star. Go! No! Bonus, Bonus challenge. challenge! Yeah. There we go. Items. <laughs> items. items. Better not be the freaking roulette one again. <laughs> Mario oh, Luigi's being on. silent, it probably is. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I was trying not to say anything about it. <laughs> I guess I had to say something about it. Actually, no, it's slot machine. Hey! <laughs> dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> oh, slot machine's the worst game. You have to have good timing on it to actually get anything off of it, so I actually legitimately tried here to get something out of it, and I didn't. Well, <laughs> Slot machine and Thousand Year Door is easier. <laughs> well, you're given two of the items, you just have to get the third. <laughs> yep. Alright, and we have unlocked the bonus game for this world, bonus 5. Let's go check that out. Hmm. If you wanna know why I went silent, it's because this is roulette. <laughs> We gotta play it at least one more time, unless I get it randomly for a bonus challenge. Here we go! Oh yeah, lives. lose them all. Lose them all. Round, 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 the roulette wheels go. World will stop, multiplied by... Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Hey, don't scream Finally. like that. You know, a text guy's gonna get on your case. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say a text guy is gonna get on your case. Once again, I edit these videos. I might silence myself a little bit there, though myself though. That makes up for all the lives you've lost from that game. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> That's the death I had in the level. I suppose this is the first time you've actually seen a death reel curator, hasn't it? Since I died once in that level, there is a one death death reel. Okay. Whew. I believe we've all become really excited after that game of roulette. Yeah. We're now going to go ahead and play 5 8 Raphael the Raven's Castle. That name should sound a little bit familiar to you, Evil Pop Tart. It yes, does it does. sound familiar. Mm hmm. past those two blowhards. One thing I really like about this castle specifically is that it feels like a castle suspended in midair. 
A, a combination of the background, and B, the fact it definitely has bottomless pits and, you know, has that background. Also has those shy guys rotating around a mace. Mace in the face. That background reminds me of Star Fox when you get to Venom. Oh, I froze that blowhard and he's on a spike. I don't want to risk anything. <laughs> Venom, huh? Isn't Venom red? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks like in the space, like before you get on the planet and you fight the phantom thing. Well, it's first version anyway. Alright, it's been way too long of a time since I last played Star Fox. If you want to know what I'm doing, there's a secret that you have to jump off a bullet bill to get to. Right there. Of course, the camera doesn't want to cooperate with me, but I did make it up to here. First there thing I go. do when I start a Super Mario World hack is take off the freaking thing that doesn't let the camera follow you until you touch the ground. I hate that. It should always follow you, no matter what. Yeah, but, that's yeah. really dumb. Isn't the term in Lunar Magic like vertical sync or something like that? Uh, I don't know. I usually just go into a hex editor and take it out that way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you edit all the levels? Say no, you have vertical sync unless I explicitly disable it. Oh yeah, yeah, there is, like, you can make it so that levels will never scroll vertically, but, like, what I'm talking about is, if they do scroll vertically, even if it is set to do that, it won't scroll up until Mario is standing on a platform. But I change it so that the Mario will always be in the middle of the screen, no matter what. Okay. Well, don't tell anyone, but you can grab the arrow lifts with your tongue. <laughs> don't tell I anyone, been... I'm, a, I'm a blatant sign. I do believe the uh, LP has been grabbing those arrow lifts this entire time, so... Thank you, sign guy, but we already knew that. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, there's a couple of you know, the walking bullet blasters. They're so Thankfully, cute. If you... <laughs> but they're wrong! <laughs> I would like one as a pet. But it's wrong! No, if anybody messed with me, I'd be like, Go get them, boy! Sick them! <laughs> Blow their heads off. <laughs> Now we see, can you take it through pipes? Nope. No. <laughs> Yoshi just can't flat out take items through pipes ever. <laughs> yeah. In between that screen transition, e Yoshi even had Even in Super Mario World. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to reference. Yoshi just always has the gag reflex in screen transitions and eats anything that's in his mouth, even if it's a key. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. This is annoying. I like this level. Yeah, it's those kind of just like go up and up and up and up and up. It is go up and up and up. But isn't it better than the rocket ship in Yoshi's Island DS? Maybe. Maybe. Do, do you remember the rocket ship in Yoshi's Island DS, Evil Pop Tart? Yes, I do. Isn't this better than that? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. I was actually was getting a pain in the ass too, but this looks like. Oh, you died again. <laughs> Why aren't you showing them right away anymore? So we can have a death reel at the end, and while with one death, eh, once I add up to like 40 or 50 deaths, it'll work out better, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody's keeping count. But first, we gotta transform into the train. Train time! Yep. Train in space! Oh yeah! Choo choo! Take the hyperspace train terminal from Japan to Canada. <laughs> the hyperspace terminal to Mars to the moon. <laughs> space. 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 Get out of space. Get out of space. <laughs> hey, I'm in space. Say hi to mom. Come on, space. <laughs> well, admittedly, if you were on a train terminal and your destinations were somewhere in Japan, somewhere in Canada, or the moon, where would you go? Well, there's nothing. There's nothing on the moon. <laughs> Japan. I mean, the moon's cool and all, but like, what do you do there? Do you trains. Not I want to take a rickshaw. No trains. You would not Let's just go breathe. by rickshaw. You would not breathe. So <laughs> yeah, you die there. 
Yeah, so pretty much saying you want to go to the moon is saying you just want to die. But I mean, unless there's like a spaceship <laughs> inside, the, a spacesuit inside the train, I guess it'd be okay. <laughs> Passengers, if you could please put on your spacesuit now. <laughs> Failure to put on your spacesuit will result in uh, deoxidization and ultimately death. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Screw trains. Thankfully, Let's just take rickshaws. Rickshaw to the moon. <laughs> Hey, it's right, another fat last, bird. <laughs> very last section of this level, there's a lot of goonies that try to attack you from above, so you just have to advance cautiously, and you'll be fine. Um, I didn't pick up any of the coins earlier, because I already heard the sound that means I have 20 of the red coins in the level. Hmm. And thankfully, they do give you a bubble cloud in case you get hit once or twice by the goonies. But first... well, actually. But afterwards... We have the Raven. I'll show his dialogue during the death reel because I, my one death was actually to him. Oh. Mm hmm. Wow, yeah, so the, the only midway point is kind of pretty far back, then. It is. There isn't one right before the boss, you are right. You just got ejected out of orbit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And now we're on some asteroid like structure that looks kind of like the moon. Not like, only that. Jeez. It's Mario Galaxy, just like you said. But before Mario Galaxy. Mm -hmm. This is probably where they got the idea for it. <laughs> Nintendo Ooh, ripping yeah. off their own games. Yes. So the idea behind Raphael the Raven is that you have to get one of these stakes to uh, appear underneath him. <laughs> and given that he actually moves pretty quickly, this is kind of hard to do. Honestly, my strategy butt? is to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you shove the stake up his butt. What he just did was his only attack, um, causes sparks to appear around the battlefield. I completely forgot he had an attack, which will be the cause of my one death, as we'll get to the death reel. But, the more you hit him, the angrier he gets. Oh, shut Raphael up, Raphael, mad. you like Hulk it. smash. <laughs> Raphael, smash. Yeah, holy cow, look at how fast he's moving. Sometimes he stops, but it's never where you want him to. Yeah, look at that. There's no stakes there. Come on. Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, wow. I got his toe. <laughs> <laughs> I got him really angry. Oh, yeah. When I stub my toe, it hurts like heck. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, step on a Lego. Oh! <laughs> and then you look like Raphael the Raven looks like right now. Ugh. Oh, got him. There you go. Anyway, we eject him into another orbit that turns him into a star. He just got ejected into space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's yep. dead. Space. <laughs> He's dead in space. Space is scary. Very scary. <laughs> there we go. That's World 5. So yeah, it started with a lot of snow, ended with us climbing up really, 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 really high. All the way up into space. <laughs> that actually opened up to probably one is the one of the worst levels in the game. I we'll know. We'll get to that when we get to it. <laughs> I think I know which level this is. We'll get to it when we get to it. But first, another trek on Yoshi's Island. Watch where Yoshi goes this time. I don't know. What can top space? Almost into space. Kaboom, fall. No, there's a cloud he's on. <laughs> well, Yoshi is going to teleport to... Yoshi, did you go to... <laughs> a new island. What? Hmm. Kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and the final island is where baby Luigi is. World Seriously? 6. Mm-hmm. He's going to teleport to another island. Oh, we defeated this island. Yep. And what's really interesting is if you save while in World 6 and your last file was in World 6, you get the alternative title screen with the alternative island instead of the main Yoshi's Island. Uh, we'll get back to the title screen in a bit, because I wanted to go back to the point where I forgot that Raphael the Raven has an attack, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> Here's the dialogue. Yeah, that island, I guess, is the Koopa Kingdom. Hmm. That's weird. 
I like how Kamek was stuttering. You, uh, I, uh, the, uh, <laughs> die. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, if you save on World 6, and your last file was on World 6, you get the alternative title screen. Ooh. Mm-hmm. It also starts up the music right away instead of the big, long 30-second intro before the music actually starts and kicks in. Yeah, I remember that. I remember when I played it, I was like, oh, that's really neat. Yeah. If you let the title screen sit for 30 seconds, it eventually gets to this theme, but here, it just plays the theme immediately. Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we just have one more world to go, and we'll save baby Luigi. Yeah! Yeah, wow. This has been going by pretty fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. It has kind of been. I feel sad. This game is awesome. This game is not awesome. I love it. I don't no. care what you think, Evil Pop Tart. This Never. game is awesome. Never. I'm spacing out. Never. <laughs> I've, Yoshi's I've, Island. I've, I've, I've played it a lot, but I never actually did 100% it, so I've really been enjoying watching you go through it. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm enjoying you right. playing this too, so I don't have to suffer going through it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the final world will come on the next set of episodes of Let's Play Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3. Why don't you join me because those are going to be some difficult levels. So, this has been Miles Luigi. Yeah, this has been Evil Pop Dark. And this has been The Grill. <laughs> and Higsby. See you all next time.